today guys we're gonna make this marvelous chicken pot pie stay tuned For the crust, I'm going to use the pata pate recipe, the one that is used to make pate en croûte. So first, I'm going to cream my butter with salt and a bit of sugar, beat on medium high, and add the potato starch. Smooth out and throw in the egg, water, and a dash of white vinegar. Beat until smooth and add the flour. There is actually two options for your chicken pot pie, double crust or crust topped casserole dish. The good news is that we are going to explore both. Voila, just combine. Wrap up and chill completely. I'm gonna do the double crust first. So I am going to roll out uh, one third of the crust into a three millimeter thick disc and shape it. The pâté dough crust Pata pate became my choice for many savory items such as quiche. Easy to handle and so good. Here I am using a 8 by 2 inch tart mold. Let rest in the refrigerator for at least an hour before baking. Then pre-bake your tart shell for about 30 minutes with a pie weight, beans, cherry pits or rice and 15 to 20 minutes more without. Pre-baked tart shell, by the way, can also be made in advance. Next, the most exciting part, the chicken stock. You want it to be rich in flavor, simply the best, and make it in advance. Refrigerate for a few days or freeze for weeks. It's so convenient. And that chicken stock we are going to make from scratch. It's worth it over any stock-bought stock in can or box. For my vegetable stock, I'm gonna use onion piqué, carrots, leeks, turnip, garlic, and corn cob. I'm gonna save the kernels for the filling in a large pot. I'm gonna add the wine first. White wine such as Chardonnay is perfectly fine. Then the chicken meat backs, wings, necks, feet, and legs. Then the veggies, thyme, bay leaf, sage, black peppercorns, and water. Bring to a boil and let simmer for two hours. You see your place is going to smell so good. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of my other veggies for the filling, such as pearl onions, and I'm gonna throw them in boiling water for one minute and cool them off in ice water and squeeze out. How cool is that? To follow, I'm gonna peel and cut some uh, celery stalks into medium dice cubes using my favorite Santoku knife. Baby carrots, though, should be cut into quarter inch thick slices or medium dice if using regular carrots. To know more about it, watch my video basic knife skills. Not to mention that veggie trimmings can definitely be thrown in the stock. Speaking of which, it's been cooking for two hours plus. It is time to remove all of the solids. And you can save uh, the carrots and the other veggies if you want, but we are not going to use them for the chicken pot pie though. I'm gonna spread the chicken parts onto a large baking tray to cool a little bit before boning. Meanwhile, I'm gonna sieve the stock and cook my pearl onions for five minutes, though you want to keep them slightly firm. And then I'm going to start blanching my beautiful vegetable cuts. English peas, carrots, celery, and corn kernels. When chicken parts are still warm, remove all of the bones. Do not forget even one. And cartilages. Wrap up and chill. Refrigerate the chicken stock as well and you'll see how easy it is to scrape out the fat. Looks incredible. A jello-like collagen-rich stock. Time to make the velouté. 
And I want to add uh, a couple of fresh herbs, such as sage, which is the perfect match for chicken, but also some parsley, Italian parsley. For the roux, the thickener, I am going to uh, cook the sage with the butter first until fragrant. Then I'm going to add the flour and cook for another two minutes. Then the stock, bring to a boil and cook for two minutes. This is what we call velouté, one of the five mother sauce. Then I'm going to add some seasoning, salt and pepper. More. Turn off the flame and throw in the shredded chicken and your beautiful veggies. To enhance the texture of the velouté, you could add some heavy cream. Your choice. This is truly amazing. First, I am going to take care of my double crust pie and finish with a thin layer of crust and then I'm going to double it with a poppy seed decorated lattice pattern using a pastry lattice roller. Back in the days, I remember using this device to finish apricot pies. Though the contrast given by poppy seeds offers a quite stunning result. Next, my chicken pot pie casserole. So what I'm going to do first, I am going to freeze a thin, a very thin sheet of crust. And then when it's going to start to thaw, I am going to cut out uh, leaves for decoration. As soon as it is done, freeze again. In the meantime, I'm going to top my chicken pot casserole with a disc of crust. One inch, two and a half centimeter, larger in diameter, than the dish and pinch the edges. I hope guys you have enjoyed this exceptional chicken pot pie episode. To get the full recipe, well, you know it, right? Go to brunoskitchen.net. For now, please subscribe, like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Bon appétit and see you next time. This is it.